So I think you get to be an outsider once. And so I respect the heck out of what he did in 2015 and 2016. Mm -hmm. He came in as an outsider and had no inhibition for what you, the inhibitions you have if you grew up within that system, okay? So I can't tell you what my situation will be after one or two terms in office. But I will tell you, I don't have any of those inhibitions today. The swamp has not drained me yet, okay? Mm -hmm. And so I think you get that fresh energy as an outsider once. And I think that President Trump laid a foundation. Somebody had to do it. So I can't believe in four years that you can have at once both exposed the problem and solved it. But exposing the problem, it wears on you. I mean, I, I, I'm, President Trump is a friend. I, I, as I understand, you guys know each other. You're friendly as well. And I have actually seen a lot of the areas where he could have gone further but didn't. I'm not saying I would have done better in 2016 either. But against the backdrop of learning from that foundation and having fresh legs, to, and, and, and the lack of inhibition to actually address the problems, there's a reason why I'm the only candidate willing to talk about ending affirmative action. I'm the only candidate willing to talk about abandoning the climate cult. I mean, these are two of my top priorities, shutting down the Department of Education. A chief executive can actually do this. I'm not blaming President Trump for not doing it, but if he was gonna do it, it would have happened already, right? We still have a US Department of Education. He put the best person he could have in charge of it. This is about taking that to the next level. I think he could make for a legendary presidential advisor, because unlike the other advisors who themselves are creatures of the so-called swamp itself, you want somebody who actually had the experience of trying, having had some successes, and then haven't had some failures along the way. The next time you have an Anthony Fauci, who, or Merrick Garland, or James Comey, or whoever, you got to do what the Constitution empowers you to do. You fire them. You fire the managerial industrial complex around them, the legions of people under them. Now, I want to know, did that occur to President Trump? What obstacles did he run into? Great, arm me with that, but I've got fresh legs. I've got no inhibitions. I don't care if somebody's gonna, I think you're gonna have a tough time calling me a racist or a white nationalist or whatever, but even, I'm sure that will come too. You know what, we need to be the party, the GOP, that nominates the outsider. I think that should be the tradition. Let the Democrats be the party of the professional politician.